We want to get right to breaking news on the school budget crisis in Winsocket. A short time ago, the school committee voted not to close the city's schools in April. City officials said earlier this week they might end the school year early because of money problems. Iowa to Sue's reporter Catherine Sotnik was at tonight's meeting. She joins us now live from Winsocket with the breaking details. Well, yes, the school committee voted a short time ago, five to nothing to keep the city schools open through the end of June, not shut them down early in April, two months early to save some money in a city that has a major budget crisis right now. Before that vote, as you could imagine, many, many upset people. We expect answers, and my children are going to school for 108 days. Don't think about closing it down. One after the other, parents, students, and teachers come up before the school committee in a standing room only meeting, and they were angry. Those kids asked me today, why is school closing in April? What do they need? The teachers aren't getting paid. And emotional. Is it worth it? My grandchildren deserve everything I work for. Please don't do this. Angry that the school committee was voting to potentially shut down all the city schools two months early in April instead of June. Tracy Paskinick, a teacher, read a letter from her son. Mom, how am I going to know the rest of fifth grade stuff before I go to middle school? Mom, how will I be able to take kneecap if I didn't even finish fifth grade? Right now, the school district faces a $7.3 million budget deficit for 2012. When Socket teachers have already agreed to give backs to help the city. And the school committee chair, Anita McGuire Forcier, warned that if the school district did not get a state payment early, there would be no money to pay the teachers. And they say they hope the state is listening to their cries for help. So the, the best case situation at this moment is that the state of Rhode Island has seen us all here. And, and I believe that we have accomplished that. And the school chair said about the major budget problems tonight, she says she admits that they were a budgeting problem. She calls them book errors, but she says nobody ever stole money or misplaced any money. Reporting live tonight with breaking news from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom from Woonsocket, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.